Hey, what's going on guys? It's White Gaming, back again with some more Survive Icarus. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all good and are having a great Friday. It is almost the weekend. More game time. Oh yeah. Now, week 13, this is something that we have all been waiting for with a much requested community feature. That is Talent Respec. So many people want this and I quite like this idea as well. I think it's really cool. They've gone about it very differently though. Um... But it, it, it's quite cool how they've done it. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. It may receive some mixed reviews, I think. Um, personally, I don't mind it. I think it's quite cool. I don't plan on respecking myself. I will create another character if I want to try something completely different to the point where we need to completely respect a character. But, you know, if you make a mistake, at least you can actually uh, do something to fix it. Now, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video. I greatly appreciate it, and it helps us grow a whole bunch. Week 13 update, the talent respec, with 30 free respec points. Now, this is what I was talking about. This, The way that we do this, it comes with respec points. We will go into that a little bit deeper in just a second. It's been a while coming, but your patience has paid off. Week 13 update introduces the much-requested character respec system. With this feature, you'll be able to undo talent point assignments and spend those points on other talents. Alongside this, we have stability and crash fixes. This update will include some significant crash fixes, and this is a top priority to the team and will continue to be. These will be rolled into every weekly update as we fix them, which is brilliant. They're working on fixing any issues that do crop up, which is fine. Um, myself, personally, other than the video that we did a couple of weeks ago where we took on the giant desert worm, I really haven't had any major issues. I've had a, the odd crash here and there. But nothing really to complain about, so I'm happy with that. Now, our original intent was for players to create multiple characters to explore and specialise in each one of the branches of the talent tree, while not developing any single overpowered character. We did this by having some limits on the number of talents and blueprints you have. Last week we rebalanced this by increasing the effective level cap to 50, allowing you to keep on earning blueprint points beyond this level and increasing the amount of talent points you could gain introducing solo talent points. Which was really cool. I do like that. The solo talent points. I think that was a brilliant way of doing it. Really, really like it. However, we've also seen that you love your characters and are often more invested in developing them rather than creating new ones. This has led to requests for a way to distribute talent points so you can keep growing and experimenting with your characters. Which is brilliant. I like it. I think it's good that we can um, experiment, change a few things around. Obviously, to go with a full-on overhaul of your character and remove everything to start from scratch, it is going to be a little bit pricey. And we know some of you have been disappointed that we didn't provide a more stable and balanced game at launch. But hopefully, these continued weekly updates show you that we are working hard to address your concerns. Please consider leaving a review to support us, and if we've addressed your issue in a negative review, we'd love for you to consider changing it to support the team. It does make a big difference for our team's morale, which I completely get that. Um, if you have made a review, definitely update it. If you played the game at launch and you haven't been back since, jump in, spend an hour, just have a little bit of fun, see what you think now. Um, I'm not saying that you will, you'll be, you might not be completely happy, there might have been issues that you had, um, but I know myself personally, I haven't had, like I said, many issues at all, so um, hopefully that's the same for the majority of people. So yeah, if you are enjoying it, please leave the guys a review, it helps them out, it really does. Now, to respec your character, you can change your character's talents by buying respec, respec points in the orbital station, and they cost 150 ren each. To introduce this new feature, this week we're giving every player account 30 free respect points, plus introducing a way to earn even more ren by trading exotics. We aim to make the cost of respecting accessible to those who play the game to its fullest extent by mining or completing the longer missions, but still cheap enough for casual players to tinker in small doses. Which is great. There are appealing to everyone, which we, all, we always like that, you know. The, uh, the vets and the newcomers, perfect. Now, to respec a talent, you will need to visit the talent screen on one of your characters in the station. On the talent screen, you will see a respec points button on the top left. 
Clicking this button will let you choose how many respect points you wish to purchase with your available Ren. In order to use respect points, just right click the talent you wish to remove and you'll see a confirmation box asking if you want to spend one respect point and then you will gain one talent point back to spend. Respect points can be spent on any of your characters and you can also respect solo talents. All right, all right, all right. I mean, as you can see in the background, you know, the funky stuff's going on. I do quite like it. We can now also earn more Ren by selling exotics. In addition to the respect, we're introducing a currency conversion system to convert exotics to Ren at a 1.5 ratio, meaning selling one exotic will net you five Ren. On the workshop screen, look for the new sell exotics button. This allows players to manage their currencies more freely and makes mining exotics more lucrative. With many missions containing two or even three exotic deposits, there's a potential to earn over 1,000 exotics from just one mission. That equates to around 5,000 to 6,000 ren, enough to respect more than half of a level 50 character. We feel that this is a pretty fair initial approach to expanding the economy in Icarus and we have plans to introduce more currencies, conversions and ways to get rich in the future. We would love to hear your feedback on the new systems, so please make sure you visit the feature upvote and chat with them on Discord. Now, if you haven't checked those out, down in the description below, feature upvote is a brilliant, brilliant site and it goes through so many things that people want to see. And the things that are mainly at the top of the list is what the team tend to put a lot of their work into. Now, I am planning at some point to do a video on the feature upvote pages and see what the community wants. Um, there's some really interesting things on there. So it's definitely something we're going to look at at some point. Now, we had long ago intended to ship with respec and many were unhappy that we didn't ship with it. We realized quickly that we needed to get it in, but also needed to do it right. It touches on a lot of complex systems. So unfortunately, it has taken longer than we'd liked, but better late than never. So here it is, and we will be working closely with the community to balance and develop this further as the rest of the game, as with the rest of the game, sorry. And that is a message from Dean Hall, which um, if you know, he's the, the boss man of Icarus. He's, uh, he's pretty cool. Next up, we have crash and stability fixes. Fixing crashes that prevent you from even playing the game is our highest priority, and this week's update includes several crash fixes. We've also improved on crash reporting tools, which we have already helped nail several nasty bugs and crashes. If you do experience a crash, don't ignore the window that can pop up. Please do send and close. So always do that. I do that with pretty much all of my games because then it does help them out when they see a crash report. And, you know, the less crashes that we have in games, the better the game is, really. Now, please write a message to us about what you were doing right before you crashed, whether you were a host or client if you're playing offline and whether or not you've experienced the crash before, then send and close. Using the Unreal Engine Crash Reporter is really useful and it will help our developers better pinpoint the cause of the crash and fix it faster. So... You know, do it. Fill it out. It literally takes 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it is. Um, I don't want to try and force a crash so I can show it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it takes 30 seconds. Um, it's really easy. And it does it does improve everything. So 100%. Get out there. Do that. Do that. Next up, we have changes to dropship inventory and the meta workshop. One key change you'll find in the below patch notes is the change to the meta workshop items where you'll no longer be able to stack these in your inventory. We've therefore also increased the dropship inventory capacity from 10 to 15 slots to give you the ability to still take sufficient amount of technology to and from the surface with you. While only a minor change, we wanted to address this as it's likely something you'll notice first on your drops since the update. Now, for today, that is it. Obviously, we have a detailed change log, which is basically fixing items, Add in weight capacity to talent exploration tree, uh, crop yields. There's loads of random, random stuff on there. So if you do want to check that out, I do recommend heading over to Steam and having a look through. There's at least 50 points on there. So we're not going to go through all of that today. Uh, we have gone through pretty much the biggest um, bulk of things, which is good. Um, if you do want me to always go through the changelog 
and sort of patch notes then please let me know in the comments and i will always include it but as a standard thing if it's really really long i tend not to bother going through it i just have a quick glance through and if there's something interesting in there which we haven't already covered in the video then i'll go through it and today there is not too much there's just a lot of fixes and adding audio and all that kind of stuff so pretty cool right yeah i'm happy with that i'm happy with that so for today though ladies and gents that is it from me a massive thank you as well which i haven't actually said yet to all the support we received on our outposts video which was released on tuesday that was really really fun it seems like everybody enjoyed that so a massive thank you to everyone there we will continue with that series we're going to stick to the first weekend uh, first tuesday sorry of every month on that one and we'll we'll do i don't know maybe five or six episodes per area and then we'll move on to another one which I don't, I, mm, we might do a few more i don't know it might be three um i haven't really thought about it too much to be honest uh, i just wanted to jump in and have a load of fun with it and we did that you guys loved it so thank you so much for the support there for today though that is it from me i have been wired you've been awesome thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon with some more videos.